people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, say what they do. Now, people, I know that we've heard the term that badness don't pay, crime don't pay. And we see that in most cases, scenario, these criminals, they basically have a short lifespan. We are speaking about they usually get taken out very soon. We are speaking about in their early 20s, early or late 30s, even in some cases. However, people like they say, there is always exception to the rule. And in this case, we are speaking about a person that is 66 years old. And his name is Archibald Rutherford O.C. A.K.A. Stone. That means that him tough like nail. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that this man is from a place called Freetown. We are speaking about Glen Gough. We are speaking about St. Catherine. So we are talking about one of them garrison era. And he was charged by the Pope for basically illegal possession of a firearm. We are talking about ammunition. We are speaking about shooting with intent and also wounding with intent. And based on the report from the Pope or the incident report, it is said that this is stemming from an incident that occurred on August 2nd, 2020 in a place called Sioux River. We are speaking about Richmond. We are speaking about St. Mary. And it is said, according to the complainant, he was on his way to his farm at about 7 a.m. when he passed Mr. Rutherford, who is 66. Now, people, if you are walking along the road and you see a man, we are speaking about an elderly man, we are speaking about a 66-year-old man, you would feel comfortable that more than likely the possibility or the probabilities are this man is harmless. However, in this case, the man said he walked past him and then him hear some piper, we are talking about some loud noise and then he realized he felt a burning sensation in a, him right arm and him right foot and when him realized that the man had basically calm him up however him take for himself and he run to the poor post station in a high gate and he reported the incident and people guess what after that mr rutherford he turned over himself to the popo and that was when he was charged now people like me say the man is 66 year old he is from saint catherine however he is doing all sorts of things in a saint mary and based on information that i got he has been doing this for a very long time so people we are speaking about a crime producer we are speaking about a person that basically past his retirement age we are speaking about his time has expired in other badness basis however it seems as if he is stubborn it seems as if he won't learn however with these charges and cases maybe this might be an end or put an end to his career and basically put him where he belongs people may not know let me know what you think in the comment section now people like i said just imagine how shot this man was when him passed a old man basically looked like he should have been home in a some sort of rocking chair and then the man rock and pop off and start blaze up some can on him and him have to basically lift up him foot and take for himself and then this man have the audacity to turn himself over to the popo late that same afternoon where he was charged in a question and answer we are speaking about session so people basically the popo them asked him where you were at at that point and he did not have an alibi and them realize oh, wait a minute this man is a crime producer from back in the days this man is a legend in other business so people like we see long run short catch with sister he is acting up he has been acting up for quite some while and people like me say sometimes you hear a story you don't know what is the underlying story because sometimes even the person that went to the poor post station and complained he might have had some sort of incident with this man and he might have been the perpetrator instead of the victim so people we don't know people use all sorts of psychology however based on the information it is said that this man may have talked about mr rutherford he is basically a crime producer from back in the days and based on the fact that he has a question or he had a question and answer session and the poor post thought that he must be liable or he is guilty people it seems as if this man is a criminal point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that i like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up
Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word, I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, people, while we're on the topic of badness and gunman, we see that a next one bite the dust. I am speaking about a 34 year old man and his name is Orlando Chambers and he is from Maxfield. And based on the information from the Popo, it is said that this man is a violence producer. This man is always, his name is always calling up in all sorts of things. And I am not talking about good. May I talk about sloppy and may I talk about all sorts of shooting. Now, based on the information, it is said that at about 5.50 in the morning, crack of dawn in Thursday morning, the poor, poor B.S. Cali was going for some people, including this person specifically. And based on the Popo report, it is said that they came under some sort of confrontation. And after the smoke clear, people, you understand the result. We are speaking about the typical result. Basically, man found, we are speaking about clutching for his life. Man found, we are speaking about with that tool. And based on the information, it is said that after the smoke clear, they took or they seized a Versa gun with a magazine containing one round. So people like we say, more than like the fact that he only had one round. And he is going against, we are speaking about a barrage of popo. We are talking about some top shooter. We are talking about some tech people. More than likely, he was not going to make it. The possibility or probabilities are it was going to basically end up not in his favor. So people, so said, so done. And like the popo said, this man is wanted as a person of interest in several slap away. We are speaking about an incident that occurred back in January of 2020. So people, January, we are now in August. People, we are talking about 16 months, 18 months, something like that. So therefore, we are talking about long run or short run, short catch in this case, point blank and period. Now, people, I know that you've seen me done many videos and I keep warning these young youth, I keep warning these gunmen. Listen, it is not a very good time. It is not a very good season for badness right now because based on what we've seen transparent in about the last couple of months or so, it seems as if the odds are against you. It seems as if you are going to lose your life. It seems as if any time you come in any sort of confrontation with any sort of alarming, it is basically going to end up where you end up. We are talking about on the other side of life. We are talking about the afterlife. So therefore, maybe this is time for you to give up yourself. Maybe this is time for you to stop the bodies. Maybe this is time for you to go and get some sort of application, get some sort of trade, get some sort of job. Because more than likely, like them say, every day the bucket go well, one day the bottom I go fall out. And we see say, a lot of purses are been falling out lately. And we see that people are dropping like flies. We are talking about like domino. So people, if you understand the domino effect, every day you go on your teeth and you rob and you commit all sort of crime, one day the domino them are going to fall. So people, let the chips fall where they may. And like me say, learn from the experiences of others. We are speaking about the bad experience. If you play with fire, you are going to get burned point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now people last but not least i am going to clear up something that happened to me the other day so anyways, I have at least three WhatsApp group and I was going through my group. I guess persons in the group were basically introducing themselves and they were sending pictures to other persons in the group. So anyways, you understand sometimes you have these smartphones and you scroll and you press the wrong thing and it send basically things that you did not want to send out. So anyways, I mistakenly sent somebody's picture to my status and people the truth i use whatsapp but i never post anything in my status especially any picture or any sort of video of myself as a matter of fact i don't even keep pictures i don't even take pictures or video of myself so therefore the possibility or probabilities are me posting a picture of myself is very minimal so anyways, like me say, you know them smartphone, you scroll and you swipe and you press the wrong thing and sometimes you send the wrong thing to the wrong place. So anyways, people, somebody picture, a male picture, end up on my status and people, when me check my status with all the people that are checking, 
people may have scroll, may have swipe up and down and people it was endless. May I talk about hundreds of people. And I got a lot of texts. Yeah, you that brother, how you make them mistake there? And I said to the people, listen, I would not make that even as a mistake. As a matter of fact, I don't even have my picture in my phone to make a mistake. So therefore, that is not even going to happen. However, my reason for making this post or making this part of the video is the fact that I realize that there's an obsession with some other bloggers as it pertains to me. Everybody want to know what I look like, what I do, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, blah. So people may just uh, make you know if you see that picture or if you see some delusional blogger with the picture and claim so them find all sort of information because you know that person always saying them a file for me them know it's for me live with school me go rate lay lay blue blah blank me involved in a all sort of crime rate lay lay blue blah blank me just a make you know that it is a lie so therefore don't fall for the okey pokey some people like me say i understand that this is social media and it seems like people have too much time on them hand. So therefore you can expect to see any sort of stuff. So people, this is basically my rebuttal. As a matter of fact, I have the person whose picture it actually belong to. Who is that person? Basically did a video. So therefore whenever these idle people put out any sort of video, people, I am just going to prove who this person is point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up